Yesterday was August 15th, 2015, in one of the most highly anticipated days of the year for a unique area in the south side of Jamaica, Queens, called Hollywood 112. Emanating from Brookville Park, for the second consecutive year in a row. On this day, I had a chance to meet characters and personalities I had previously only heard about, and most of which I had resigned to be urban legends or myths. It was amazing to have the honor of spending time with the parents of some of the most well-known 112 entertainers, while also seeing young people stepping up with the same energy and entrepreneurial spirit of their forefathers. So today is 112 day and it's basically like a get together of family each year and it's like it inspired me to become who I am today because it's like, hey, you get to see your family members like record and take photos and have fun and I kind of got interested in that so I want to start my life as an entertainment, like my family is. Oh, well, we're here at 112 Day. We're all the people out here having the, the three Fs, food, fun, and family. <laughs> uh, it was 112 Day. I don't know which one this is, fifth one, sixth one. I know that um, I'm excited about it. Um, a lot of communities don't stay a community because they don't keep those common bonds. And the only way that they stay a community is that they stay poor. If nobody. If nobody can afford to leave their neighborhood, then they stay a community. Anybody makes anything better happen, then they leave and move there and then, and their children don't know each other. They lose their stories, they lose their culture. Um, so 112 has created something that, no matter how we grow, no matter where we move, whether we move to Miami or Far Rockaway or different parts of Queens, however it is, we can still come together, you know? It's very important. So I hope that 112 grows, um, the tradition grows, and I hope that um, everybody from 112 can not take it lightly as just a picnic or something, but something that they need and um, even your children need to be reminded of where you come from. So happy to be here. The food was delicious. People from this neighborhood put time and effort into preparing such wonderful dishes as macaroni and cheese, potato salad, fried chicken, pasta salad, chicken fried rice, and baked ziti. There were great options fresh off the grill tender barbecue, spicy jerk chicken, and of course, hot dogs and hamburgers for the kids. Around four o'clock, somebody decided to spike the punch. The music got a little bit louder, and I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. 112 day, August 15th. You know how it is. Came straight from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a, I'm a Southside representative. We represent our block. We doing big things over here. Family, loved ones, friends, it's all the same, you heard? 112 to the death, you heard? Peace. When I first moved on phone, I was like 14, 13, you know, little nigga running around the streets. Um, pretty much, I moved off the block, but I still kept in contact with niggas. That's why we still close to this day. Um, it's been about 10 years plus, and we still about to go play ball, do what we usually do as if we was on the block. So whether it's in Brookville, 112, Baisley, Throne, we all united in one way because we all chill around each other and we all keep the love. So 112 Day is very unique. This is like my, what, second time doing this? So, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an epic night, epic night. I noticed everyone making their way down towards the basketball court. Someone was kind enough to inform me that it was time for the annual basketball game. Right there, movie, you want to shoot it. 
The guys hit the court fast and furious, operating at an almost blinding speed. Rumor has it that there had been smack talk about this game all year long. This game was extremely competitive and the participants did not disappoint. Through the rough game, it was clear that it was all for the love of one another. Overall, my experience of 112 Day was touching. It reminded me that there are still true neighborhoods and communities of people committed to each other and success. My name is Raisin Sun, and I hope to see you all there again next year. <laughs>